Okay, so if you are thinking, how do I get from where I am to where I wanna be? Maybe you're operating at like 40, 50% consistently and you wanna be in your top 10%. What I tell my clients is, do not worry about the big stuff. Worry about the day-to-day, -day very small things, like your thoughts, your interactions. That's where the change happens. So I'm gonna give you a real life example. I am about to make a big change, right? And I know that I come from a poverty mindset and I get worried about money and this is a thing that I've worked on for a long time. And so I, in preparation for this change, I've already implemented more prayer, more Bible, more reading, more manifestation practices and visualization practices. I am doing the work to absolutely secure my mindset around money and changes and growth. Now, let's say I've told 10 people about this change. Three of them met me with absolute support and enthusiasm. The other seven met me with their first thought, which is, well, that's expensive. Now, because of the work I'm doing, I have to be hyper, hyper protective of what I am building because I'm building it. it that means it's not fully secure yet. So if someone just walks up and they poke at it, it affects me, not them. They get to walk away. So I have responded with, yeah, that's a you problem. Do not bring that to me. Don't, do not bring your concerns to me because unless it helps or supports or grows ads, it cannot be something that I allow myself to receive, especially when I'm in a space where I'm building. And so I know that that sounds uh, like I'm being a cunt, but the fact is, is that I will fight tooth and nail to protect what I am working on because I know that my best self doesn't just affect me. And I know that my best self, it, I the level I want to operate on, not everybody is going to understand it and not everybody is going to be there. And so I can't bring myself back here to explain it to someone who will not understand. And so when someone brings something to me that I am actively repelling, I have to repel it. I cannot be gentle. I cannot be like, oh, if you could consider, no, do not bring that to me. What I am building is bigger than that fear, is bigger than that concern. That's a you problem and it's not mine. I will do anything right now to protect what I am building, which is a strong, impenetrable, faith-filled mindset. And so if you are in that same space where you're like, how do I get better? It's the day-to-day -day stuff. Do not allow yourself to receive what does not help, even if that's from you.